upstream company De Novo Energy Limited has signed an agreement with the National Gas Company for the commercialization of the Zanderley field, which will be powered by 100% renewable energy. The project will be De Novo's second offshore installment following the Iguana field development in the same block, which was the first West Coast natural gas field to be developed in Trinidad and Tobago. The Zanderley development is expected to deliver approximately 40 million standard cubic feet of gas per day when it begins production in the first half of 2022. The project includes connecting pipeline to the Iguana platform, which will enable the new field to utilize spare processing capacity at Iguana and thereby reduce project costs. De Novo's managing director Brian Ramsumer says the company is thrilled to contribute to increasing the gas supply in this country's petrochemical sector, particularly from formerly stranded gas fields. Partners like the NGC are supporting us <coughs> with constituents and certainly jobs, uh, people at work, which I think is important. We need that as a country and that's what we could do. So we want to get some people at work and obviously get gas into the country and get some jobs there. Meanwhile, NGC President Mark Loquan praised De Novo for utilizing green energy into the project, where the Zanderley development will utilize 100% green power generation powered by both wind and solar energy. That, uh, you know, you are looking ahead and you're also, um, you know, thinking the green future and incorporating all of those type of yes. thinking and solar power and so on, um, you know, in all of this, uh, in, in, in this um, activity. So congratulations to you and your team as well on this on this milestone this platform will be fabricated locally and a local rig will be utilized for installation of the platform as well as drilling and completion